investigation continues as more women come forward filing reports about harassing text messages. So far, the Greenville, Spartanburg and Oconee County Sheriff's offices have these open cases and now so does the Seneca Police Department. We have those mapped out on the screen for you. Now, Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle has been following the story from the beginning. Uh, Grace, we know there was another one today. So what's the latest? Well, the latest we know now that Spartanburg County is mm -hmm. actually investigating and several more women reached out to me and said they actually filed more reports there today. So again, in total, as you can see here, four different agencies are working on this case. Now I want to kind of walk you through what these women are getting here. So, so far, almost 20 women have gone to law enforcement saying they've received horrible messages like these. You can see in some cases insulting their appearance, other times insulting their professions. Lots of times we're also seeing them come after these women in ways that are insulting to their relationship status. Really horrible stuff that you know you really wouldn't want to see if you were opening up your phone to this. And that's why they're finally coming forward. For some people, this has been happening for months. Other people, this has been going on for years. Now we can walk you through some more messages here, but the problem is whoever is sending these picks a new number every week, and it wasn't until one of the women posted their text on Facebook that the women realized they weren't being individually targeted. Now, we reached out to the Greenville County Sheriff's Office for an update on their investigation, and they were the first to open up a case last week. A spokesperson says they don't have any new information, but we did some digging and found similar cases in several other states where the anonymous texter was found around arrested and charged. Now, one of the issues that I've found as I've been talking with law enforcement is, you know, there aren't a lot of cases like this. This is something relatively new. They say they've never dealt with a case quite like this. Yeah, and because there are so many different cases open now, many jurisdictions, Grace, is this something where maybe the attorney general's office can get involved? Well, you know, like we said, this is new, something we haven't seen before. I reached out to the AG's office and they said as of right now, at least because local law enforcement is handling it, mm -hmm. they're going to leave it up to the local solicitors if they do find this person and charge them. Yeah, well, we, we certainly hope they do and we'll continue to follow the story, of course, and you can stay connected to it as 